people so on today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to remove and install the center dash panel on the 2006 nissan titan so stay tuned and here we go dirty dudes all right guys so on uh, removing and installing there are actually some um some wiring that you guys are gonna have to remove so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect the negative side of the battery like any, anything you're working on electronics make sure you guys disconnect the battery you don't want to start a short or anything that accidentally might happen so this So to remove the connections to the AC, what you want to do is push down this tab over here. And at the same time, move this one backwards. And then you move this all the way down. Until it comes out. So it's going to be the same for both. And these just... You want to push down this side right here. And this one right here. So you're going to pull these panel out to reel the, the two screws. I think one, you have to remove one on each side to remove this. So you can get the two screws that are holding the Cerner console intact. So on each side they have panels, so you just pop them out. And it's going to have a screw on each side. All right, so this cup holder has two tabs on each side. So what you want to do is um, release the pressure on each side and just pull it out. All right, guys, so you're going to have to actually pull off the cup holder, what I already did. Just pull it out. It comes out. There's going to be another two screws over here. I also had to remove the screw holding this. I'll show you in a minute. So after removing all four screws, the one over here on this side, these two and the one right here, you're gonna open your glove box and actually has like a little groove right here. So this you move out of the way. You see a little groove is it'll be stuck here. So there you go with that plastic. And I found that. All right, we're halfway there. So be very careful, everything's really brittle. So you do have to remove the this panel and it's held up by some screws right here. And there's going to be one underneath. Right here. So you could actually uh, tuck in the that lip I, t I told you about the other side. Because it has one over here and the, the one over here I already uh, showed you guys. That's going to be your new panel. And it's supposedly new and it still feels kind of brittle. Well, you can see it has a little groove, so... So you did have to remove this panel. Like I said, it's... This panel is holding this side of the center console. Alright, to disconnect the... The power outlet and the cigarette, there's a little 
tab you push in here, it's going to be underneath. Just push it in and it pops out. Oh, there you go. It's out. Now I'm going to have to remove the tow mode so I can put in the new um, center console. You could either unscrew it and put it in the a new one or just remove this. Open this tab and push it out. There's one in the top and one in the bottom. So you pull this down and you pull this out. There you go. So let me figure this out. And then I'll get back at you guys. On how to remove it. So on the new center panel. It came with these... um holes but they didn't really uh, a fit so I had to go with um, some sandpaper and file them down so I could actually fit them when I removed these I actually broke the um, it has like little little tabs right here I think I had to remove the actual lighter or whatever the, the internals of it and then remove the little plastic Maybe that's why this, these these circles are are smaller than the original because they don't they don't come with the um, with the little cap. But I wanted to stay with the cap, so like I said, I had to file it down with some sand, sandpaper. It has a little groove, so I'll stay into place. If not, I'll just probably just glue it. I also installed these um, switches for future installments instead of using the little caps from the old from the old um, center dash so now I'm just gonna have to wire everything before I actually put everything back together so I already synced these two so now I'm gonna sync these with the other two that I have under the the, the steering column so the total is going to be four switches and I'm going to ground it to the frame and I'm going to power it with the with the with the cigarette lighter or power outlet whatever you guys want to call it I'm going to splice into that with a T-tap and hopefully it'll give me enough power to power just the LEDs and I'm going to go ahead and also run the the wires for the auxiliary so like I said, for any uh, further future installments, I'm already going to have the wires underneath the dash. So I don't really have to take off this panel anymore. And if I do, I just pull them out. That's the reason I left so much uh, slack on these wires. In case I do have to go back, I just pu push them out and the wires will go. And for this, I'm going to have to splice and cut and add some... Some of the, not these, these are the, I'm going to add some connections. All right, guys, so I had to cut the connection. I added these connectors. I already uh, used a T-tap over here. I'm gonna probably get a ground over there for the switches. I already went ahead and uh, double checked everything. Everything's so I went ahead and uh, ground the switches to this uh, screw right here. And these two wires are the ones for the auxiliaries for the switches over here. And I have the other wire because I connected this one to the dash cam so when I hit the switch it's going to give me the reverse camera so I don't, it doesn't work with the actual reverse lights alright guys so I already installed the center dash panel as you can see it actually took me a while to align all the clips before I actually had to pull it in I did have to remove this this panel this is actually is a plastic this is a two piece is this and this i had to remove all these 
screws. Uh, I didn't have to remove this one, but I did remove these holding this panel so I could actually align the, the, the edges. So now to install the, the panel that holds the AC controllers. And from there is back to the radio. So I connected already the AC and the hazards. But I realize I have to put in the radio before I actually put back in the, the panel. Alright guys, so I did have to buy the kit. It's a double din kit. It did come with this uh, panel. I, I, I didn't use I used the one I already had. I'll probably save the other one. And I think this is stripped. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully it's just this one that's stripped. Alright guys, so always uh, double, triple check, everything's uh, properly installed before tightening everything up. Everything seems to be working. I hope I don't have to redo any of this because it is a, a hassle aligning all these, these clips and plastics and screws and bolts and radios and wires and planes. So you do have to reuse some parts. You had to reuse this plastic right here. And the tow mode. And these two right here. But like I said, I actually replaced them with some switches. And it's the same um, concept over here. It has the same two little fake plastic little buttons. Just replace them with these. Like I said, I sync these two wires with the ones over here. Alright guys, so I am going to throw some uh, Vinyl Plastic Protection. This is the product I use. I love this product. Have you ever heard of it? It's called the Renegade a Rebel uh, Rubber Vinyl and Plastic. I highly recommend you guys use this. I actually use it on my wheels before I hit the, um, the trails. So it made it easier to the dirt and grind to come off. Not sponsored by the way. And hopefully this won't crack again. What I do is just let it set and come back in a couple of hours and just wipe it, wipe the excess. Even the windows when I accidentally um, goes into the windows, it's super easy to take off compared to like if we use Armor All or some other type of product. So I'll be back to show you some before and afters. All right guys, so there you go. I finally finished installing the center dash panel. It took me maybe around two, two and a half hours. It also, after all the wiring, the switches and changing out the the USB charger and removing and installing back the radio. So it was a maybe a three out of a five difficulty level. It's mostly the time that it, that it took me. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'm also probably gonna do another video on the installation of the radio and. Probably the other side of the switches I installed on the under the the steering wheel column.